yes yes alfie marcelmixer.com back for another incredible tutorial um today we're going to be talking about the way you can just change the dynamics of the snare um to make it fit the elements of the beat better or to just change it to your liking um the way we're going to do that is by using an envelope or a transient designer in logic pro it's just called envelope or you can get that by going to dynamics and envelope or um if you're using fl or ableton or anything else um i'm sure your daw will have a transient designer or envelope of some sort you might have to just google it to find it um so what this allows us to do is pretty much affect the adsr of our snare and really and truly you can use this for anything you can use it for hi-hats you can use it for um, kicks uh, 808s um but for just to this story i'm going to do it for snares maybe hi hi-hats as well depending on how it's going so yeah you can modify the attack which is basically how fast the transients come in how fast the snare comes in um the release of the snare um the sustain the hold stuff like that so let's say and you can boost as well to, to, for more impact so let's say let me just play the snare that i've got right now <laughs> Let's say I want to make it a bit more trappy. By trappy, I mean um, a bit more uh, punchy, a bit shorter, a bit more um, rimish. I'm going to cut down the release so that the release is more short. Now it sounds like more of just a normal snare. Kind of cut off some of the extra layered um, shakers. more of a leveled snare that you can kind of wrap on um so that's one thing you can do with the release uh let's say you wanted to layer two snares and one of them you wanted to you wanted more of the body of the second one and you didn't really want much of the attack you could you could um turn down the attack of the second attack of the second snare so now i've basically just got that um, sort of shake card that was laid at the back of it, which is quite cool actually. You know, you could you could sample that and change it to an open hat or just into a perk or whatever. So put some compression. Um, you know, it's the options are always endless. So that's another thing you can do, and really and truly, you can just play about with it. It's really cool. Like I said, you can do it with anything really. Um, I'm gonna do it with hi hats as well. Just throw in some midi quickly just to make things quicker. That's another little gem there. If you don't already do you have that, already do that, just have some midi set up quickly to get into workflow. Because sometimes just laying it down can kind of slow down your mind. Oh god, that was ugly. <laughs> Let's say I wanted to make them a bit more sharper, a bit punchier. Just turn on the envelope. Bar. Turn the hi-hats into shakers. want to do that have that sort of hi-hat and a normal hi-hat on top of it or you could boost the attack of the hi-hat stuff like that so it's just a really cool way to sort of modify the samples that you already have um and just kind of really make it your own bring your own sound and your own style to it um the loop is actually from us a, a guitar a live guitar sample pack that i'm going to be dropping exclusively soon on masterthemixing.com there's going to be a loops area um so i'm going to be emailing that to you as well so you have exclusive access to that um also check out if you want to know more kind of mixing 
stuff. There's a great course that I've got on it called Beat Mixing Secrets. The link for that will be in the description. So you can check that out. And also please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you're struggling with, what you'd like me to do a tutorial on next. And I will get it done at some point. Um, Take care. Enjoy doing music and have a good day. Alfie, Master Mix, <laughs> Master Mix.com. Uh, later on.